Okay. Oh, that's totally not working there. Hold the truck. Got to get this thing lined up. Oh no, everything is falling apart. Okay, okay. Okay, this is dumping. Where's my new line? Where's my new line? I got my finger in there to stop it. Okay, this was a complete and total failure. Well, today I'm back in the 95 Suburban and I'm working on the power steering again. And the only reason why I'm doing that is because I have to replace, well, I want to replace the power steering lines. If you follow the channel, you have seen in previous videos where I replaced my factory steering gear with a redhead unit. I'll try to link those videos down below. But this time I'm replacing the power steering lines because, well, I've noticed that they're leaking at the threads. And I've taken them off, I replaced the little O-ring on there, tightened them down, still leaking. I figured, why not look for some brand new power steering hoses that are high quality? So this is what I found. The brand is Edelman, and I really like these because they're supposed to be extremely high quality. You can see on that hose there, it says Edelman Elite, and on the bag it says, designed for extreme temperatures, superior impulse tolerance, and OEM form, fit, and function. This return line is also Edelman, but it wasn't the Elite line. It just wasn't available when I was doing my ordering, so this will have to do. But I'm also hoping to be able to change this pressure line without having to remove anything else. Now this, of course, means getting up underneath this truck, which I'm okay with. And so far, after messing around with it for a few minutes, that's gonna be the only way to get to that nut. Now, the other big goal here is to try to do this and spill as little power steering fluid as possible. I don't know if that's gonna be possible, but I'm gonna try. So I'm under the truck now, reaching up here with my 5 8 and I can get that on there. There's just everything in the way, of course. Oh, yes, that's all I needed right there. Now, I can turn it with my fingers. So they do include the O-rings needed for the lines, which are gonna go on right here. And I'm gonna put a little bit of silicone grease on these O-rings just to make sure that they don't get bound up and they can get seated properly. Well, I'm thinking coming down here to the steering gear and removing the pressure line from here and capping the pressure line and then replacing it with the new line so that I can get that done and ready for the pump side of things, if that makes any sense. This kit also included this little cap, and I believe it is for doing just that, for removing this line and capping it off. <clears throat> All right, you got that one loose. Once they're cracked loose, you can move them with your fingers. All right, I want to have this other line in place. All right, here we go. I have my new line in place. I have the wife's dish towel down here. Okay, I think we're out. Okay, I'm gonna try to cap this thing off as quickly as I can. Here we go. Okay, oh, that's totally not working there. Okay, well, let me just screw this side in because that's not working. Okay, hold on. Hold the truck. Got to get this thing lined up. Oh no, everything is falling apart as is usual. Okay, hold on. And just get this up so that it doesn't leak anymore. All right, quickly, you can see I got that new line in there. It is just finger tight at the moment, so I got to kind of work quick. But you saw just as I started doing all of that and everything started falling apart, well, the camera decided to overheat and shut down. So that's always fun. I gotta get under there and get the rest of this buttoned up before too much power steering fluid leaks all over the place. So I'll be back. Okay, 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 this is dumping. Where's my new line? Where's my new line? Okay, I got my finger in there to stop it for the time being. Okay, come on, screw in there. Screw in there, come on. There we go. Okay, hold on. Okay, this was a complete and total failure. Oh, gosh. All right, that's just dumping everywhere. 
Let me get my bucket. All right, well that first pressure line is in finally, and unfortunately I made quite a mess. But it's definitely in, and both of the end nuts are tight and tight. It's a little bit of a tight fit down there by that red cap. I'm hoping that's gonna be okay. But overall, everything seemed to go together pretty good, other than me spilling all kinds of power steering fluid all over the place. And now I'm gonna move on to the return line, and this one should be fairly easy, because the other end is just this hose fitting with a hose clamp. And I'm basically gonna try the same thing I did last time, which is quick switcheroo here. Get this to come off. Okay. Using an 18 millimeter on this. Unfortunately, this line I wanted to leave all the slack they gave me, but it's just a little too kinked right here. So what I'm gonna do is actually pull this thing back off. No problem with the razor blade. Slide that back on and by golly, it's still too long. I can feel a kink in it. So we're gonna cut a little more off here. Okay, and then slide that on, and there. Now the line has no kinks, it's straighter, and I can just tighten down that hose clamp. Everything is nice and tight. Not too sure how much power steering fluid these things take. I also don't know how much I lost. Well, the truck's running, and I'm not seeing any major leaks right now. I just gotta get closer and inspect. Well, I just had the engine running and I was turning the steering wheel from side to side and I'm happy to report there are no leaks to speak of as of yet. Everything is back together, including a bottom skid plate that I had to take off. And I'm pretty confident that we are leak free at this point, which is great news. Well, after taking this thing around the block and turning a lot, turning the wheels from side to side and looking close, I can safely say that there are no leaks to speak of which is pretty awesome. So that didn't go as planned. Uh, you know, sometimes you can have it all figured out. And I did, I, I thought, you know what? I, these, I'm gonna be able to replace these lines and not spill hardly anything. I'm gonna get the new lines ready in place, unscrew the old line, screw the new one in real quick. That didn't work out on the back of the pump there, as soon as I got that old line out, I could barely see, could barely even move my hands and lost track of which line was the new line. They were both covered in power steering fluid, so I couldn't really tell. So by the time I figured that out, half the reservoir had dumped out on my arm and on the floor. That wasn't fun, but I persevered. I got it done. I tried not to panic, though I think you can hear in my voice, I panicked a little bit. I don't know why I do that. It's not like it's heart surgery or something, but uh, at this point, I think that, you know, barring any future leaks within the next few days or a week or so, I think we're good. I've already driven this thing around, tested the tires back and forth. I don't see any leaks. And I looked for a long time. I looked closely at all the threads everywhere where it was sweating before. I don't see any leaks. I looked on the back of the pump. I got under the truck with the flashlight, no leaks. So that's good. I like to fix things before they're broken. Most of the stuff on this truck has been replaced before it was broken or faulty. And the reason I do that is because, well, I'm considering how old these parts are, how old this truck is and where I wanna take this truck. And I don't wanna be out 500, 1,000, 2,000 miles from home to have a $15 part break when I can just replace it right here and make a video for you guys. I know I get a lot of flack sometimes in the comments about, you know, why did you replace that? That didn't need to be replaced. But I do it because I want this truck at its tip top shape. I don't wanna be stranded somewhere and have to get a tow back to who knows where to pay who knows what price to get it fixed. Right now, this truck is running really, really good. 
with this new power steering gear, new power steering lines, the pump seems to be working just fine. I think my power steering system is good to go. Yeah, this truck is doing pretty good. I may need a new battery here pretty quick, but uh, other than that, I, I think I could probably take this thing out on a long road trip and not have to worry. Well, I do hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. And I do enjoy making these videos. It's fun for me, it's artistic, it's mechanical, it's technical, it's just everything I like. It's just fun. If you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up. It does help the video and the channel as a whole. And also, if you've watched this far and you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing. I'm Jimmy for One Road, and I will see you in the next one.